Tokyo GUE. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. And, and, and then this one's on the south end. And, and, and if, we, if you look at the distribution, the way it kind of started out, it seemed like um, Doe was sort of the center. It seemed like everything radiated out from Doe Creek. And so um, over time, you know, the, the range has expanded greatly. In fact, now it's all the way down to almost the Chesapeake Bay, and way up to the Great Falls and, and, and the entire river system. So they've got a chemical barrier of saline and then a physical barrier? Well, yeah, and early on, you know, the, the idea was that the fish wouldn't be able to tolerate salinity and they wouldn't be able to get down like much below colonial beach and maybe even not even a colonial beach. And of course, that's all out the window now because the fish, especially when they're juveniles, appear to uh, tolerate much greater salinity than, than uh, previously believed. So they're below colonial beach? Oh, yeah. We, we had one turned in this year. What happened, remember the spring, we had all the, the, the the rainfall and the snow melt combined, and we had a tremendous freshet. Yeah. And, and it, it seems like what, what the snakeheads are doing is they're using these freshets as sort of a dispersal mechanism, and they're riding down. On, 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 and then when the once the salinity, because because you know fresh water is less dense than salt water, so it rises over top of it. And when they get down to say uh, Northumberland County or one of these areas of the tidal Potomac, where the salinity is generally going to be much higher than, than their preference, and maybe even lethal. What they'll do is they'll just they'll, they'll find the creeks because there's always going to be tributaries down there, and, that, and, that's, and that's how they can colonize the, the, the systems. And this year it just broke open. I mean, we've been watching the expansion a little bit every year, a little bit every year. You know, maybe it goes from 60 miles to 70 miles, to 75 miles. And then this year it was just we had a fish in Accomack County on the eastern shore. Now, how that fish got there is a, remains a question because it was it was a commercial boat land that was used by crab. And, and they might have used it for bait. Well, we think was, they've been catching a lot of commercial anglers have been catching a lot of crab lots down south of Colonial Beach, between Point North Gap and Colonial Beach. And we feel like probably what happened was um, it was caught in, in a crab trap. And, and if you look at the, where that boat landing was in Accomack County, it was directly across the mountain. Oh, really? And, and, they've been, and, and unconfirmed reports. Now, these are, a lot of these are, are not verified. We get them from commercial fishermen through like the Colonial Fisheries Commission, and they'll call up and say we had a, a knowledgeable, Crabber caught a snakehead in a crab pot, you know, in Point Lookout yesterday. But these are again are unconfirmed. Now, the one that on the eastern shore was confirmed. Was definitely a snakehead. The biologist picked it up. Chad, that was out on the lookout. Where was it? I mean, it was laying on a concrete boat landing adjacent to the water, so it wasn't even in the water. It was dead. It wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't uh, scarred. Wounded. It wasn't from the bird. You know, the birds are hammering this thing. It's going to breathe. The birds are well. But um, this fish was, was fine, it wasn't perforated. So, uh, so we're now confirmed, biologist collections confirmed are down um, like 10 miles below Colonial Beach. Bob, Bob Greenlee's Region 1, Scott Herman, is documented down there in uh, Chip uh, Mason, Mason Creek. But several creeks around and south of Colonial Beach are all the down there. So much further than we originally thought. Really close. Yeah. Did they get anything? I, I think it's probably likely at some point, again, a given like a spring event like we had this year, enough fresh water, hurricane, Hurricane Agnes, for example. They're going to use that, and a lot of them may perish when they get down that far, but some of them are likely going to end up making their way up into the street. Now, I don't think they'll ever be abundant in the lower reaches because of the sun. But, but the feds have reared them in hatcheries up to about 10 or 11 parts per thousand, 12 parts per thousand, especially when the juveniles seem to tolerate it better. 